Now to start us off, Senior Wealth Advisor Leslie McCormick of the Farwell Group, author of Bank on Yourself, Why Every Woman Should Plan to Be Financially Single Even If She's Not, joins us. Good morning, Leslie. Good morning, Marilyn. Happy Valentine's Day, and what are we going to learn from you today? Today we're going to uh, start moving forward. Hopefully everyone's had an opportunity over the past several weeks to at least start uh, putting their financial house in order. And now it's time to move toward creating a reliable, tax-efficient retirement income. Retirement can be a very long phase of life. It is entirely possible to spend more years in retirement than you spent working. More often than not, for clients retiring today, we're planning for at least 30 years. Financially, that means we need to be prepared to live and maintain our lifestyles for a long time. Historically, when interest rates were higher and life expectancies were shorter, a GIC portfolio was all many people needed. Today, with interest rates lower than the rate of inflation, that strategy simply doesn't work for most people. Maggie first came to me in her late 60s. She found herself now responsible for the household finances and hadn't managed investments before. Her husband had always taken care of that for them. New to this whole thing, Maggie felt the need to hunker down and sell everything and just buy GICs. I spent a lot of time listening to Maggie. She was going through a difficult time, and I can understand how the stress of this responsibility on top of everything else was overwhelming for her. I asked her three important questions. What needs to be protected? What is sacred? And what or who do you care most about? Turns out Maggie's finances needed to fund some home care support and medical expenses for her husband now. But their money also needs to provide a reliable income for her lifetime. At this point, keeping the house was non-negotiable. It's where the family comes home to, and it has the space for a caregiver. But within about 10 years, Maggie feels she'd be ready to downsize. She doesn't see herself living there on her own, and by then, it would just be too much to maintain. Because of Maggie's desire for safety with her money, I ran a financial plan for her, using just GICs. Unfortunately, even with using an assumed GIC rate much higher than today's rates, it just wasn't going to work. It projected Maggie running out of money in her mid-80s. I showed Maggie our risk-on and risk-off approach. You've heard us talk about risk-off portfolios being there as a backup source of income in case markets go through a bad patch, so we don't have to sell at a bad time. It's a way of protecting the reliability of retirement income. In Maggie's circumstances, her risk-off portfolio is there for her income today, regardless of what the market is doing. It's about truly giving her peace of mind now and gives her time to adjust to being responsible for the household finances. We took a five years of full withdrawal needs out of her regular investments and held the funds in a low-risk, tax-efficient portfolio. Enough money to stay in their home, pay for home care support for her husband, and provide a comfortable income for them without having to touch their other investments. The rest of their savings could continue to be invested for reasonable growth. We looked at how their investments had performed historically. Maggie expressed a new appreciation for how her husband, David, had managed their finances and realized that over their working years, their investment portfolio had actually performed quite well. This balanced approach of having a secure pool of capital to provide the income needed over the next five years, while sticking with the reasonable growth approach that had done them so well over the years, felt right to Maggie. Security of income now, with a portfolio growing to provide her income down the road. Well, it sounds wonderful. 
we have to ask the right questions. And you said we find out what to be protected. I've just made notes here. What's sacred and what's not to be touched. And I guess you ask that. You use the risk on and risk off approach. And Maggie and David have what they need. If anyone listening wants to secure their future and know if they're doing it right, how do we reach you, Leslie? You can give us a call at 416-863-7501. 416-863-7501. The Farwell Group. They're there to help you. All you have to do is dial the number 416 416- Eight six three seven five zero one. Ask your questions, get your answers, and move forward knowing that you have good advice. Thank you, Leslie, and uh, I look forward to speaking to you next week. Thank you, Marilyn. And I do have signed copies of your book at my store. If anyone wants the book, Bank on Yourself, just give me a call at 416-504-6777.